we're here. And we're uh, walking around in uh, Budapest. Budapest. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Budapest. <laughs> On the chain bridge, it's my first day, well, first official official day in Budapest, and we're here at the chain bridge, and it's what connects two cities and making it into one city. All right, this is the chain bridge over there. We got Buda. Over here, we got Pest. Budapest. <laughs> take our ride. As you can see we have a little elevator going up and so I'm gonna go and see the castle. Buddha Castle! Hello, we're here at Fisherman's Bastion. As you can tell, there's a pointy thing over there and a pointy thing over there. And that's all I know, other than people call this the Fisherman's Bastion. seeing a lot of videos sometimes when I'm watching on YouTube and stuff uh, about these people who do uh, what do they call this it's kind of like an unboxing but I think they call it a haul video so today Jazz and I went uh, around and we did a little bit of shopping maybe a little too much shopping and I told myself I wasn't gonna really buy anything well I bought stuff and we're gonna do this right now. All right, so I wasn't expecting to buy anything. But in my defense, here in Budapest, clothes here are not that expensive. I was mind blown at how much I'm spending. Check this out. 
okay? I got from this place called uh, Clock House or Clock something, uh, or CNA, I don't know why it's called that, but I got myself a nice leather jacket. It's pretty good quality and uh, looks nice, looks good, fits me well, all right? And you know how much this costs? It costs $60. What? $60 for a nice quality leather jacket. All right, let me show you some more stuff because jackets here, I guess it's the season or something, but I got this one. It's pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I got it at this place called Berksha. Ber Bershka. And guess how much I spent on this? About $50. $50. And then I also got. Nope, that's all I got. <laughs> no more shopping. Alright guys, we are here in Vienna, Austria, and one of the places that we gotta try, gotta try, is this place right over here, it's called Cafe Central. Vienna and you've had Vienna sausages um, that's what I'm trying here <laughs> to see if this really tastes like Vienna sausage you know those ones that come in a can and shop right or uh, so I don't know I don't know how this is gonna taste like let's go try it out it does not taste like it's from a can this is really good it's like a really tasty, delicious hot dog. We got a little, we got a little uh, mustard there. Oh yeah, that's good. It's time. Uh, do it Viennese style, all right? Because it's a cafe, so we got to do this all fancy, all right? As you can see, I got the pinky up. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Jazz and I are spending the day here in uh, Vienna, Austria, capital of Vienna sausages. Just kidding. All right. Well, behind me over here, we are at the Schönbrunn. I think that's how it's pronounced. Schönbrunn Palace. Now, Jazz and I have been to the palace in Versailles, and that was cool. And so we wanted to go and see how it, this place compares to that. See ya.
still here in Budapest and we're enjoying uh, our brunch and today we're having it in New York Cafe in Budapest. New York Cafe is uh, actually based from a New York company, and you might know them, New York Life Insurance. Um, and they, uh, they had it over here uh, and set up a, a, a place to eat for a lot of the business people that work here. Uh, and today I am having goulash and it's really, really good. really good. Never had goulash before but it's kind of like a beef stew with like vegetables like beans and potatoes. It's really good. If you're ever here, you should try it. Mm. Sayonara. Bye bye. This trip is over. We had a good time. But it's time to go back home. Back to reality. Peace.